So what is an ion thruster? An ion thruster is a propulsion device that uses strong electric fields to accelerate charged particles, such as ionized air, in a direction, causing an equal and opposite force due to Newton's third law to propel the device forward. So first off, we need a high voltage DC power supply that can produce at least 30,000 volts. Now this was by far the hardest part of the project and took about 95% of my time. The high voltage potential will be placed between two electrodes, just far enough that they can't arc over. The positive electrode will come to a point, and the negative electrode will be smooth. Since the positively charged electrode comes to a point, it concentrates the electric fields enough that it can strip away electrons from adjacent atoms turning them into positive ions. These ions are then attracted to the negative electrode. While most of them hit it head on, some pass nearby, gaining an electron on their way, and just keep going. While others bump into neutral atoms, pushing them in the same direction. This makes so we have particles going in one direction, and that will give us thrust through Newton's third law, pushing us in the opposite direction. So I chose this project for my capstone because I enjoy working with electronics. It's my biggest hobby, so it made sense to make my capstone involve electronics. I also thought an ion thruster was just a cool idea. However, I probably should have called this project making high voltage power supplies because that was really most of it. My capstone project reflects my life after high school because I hope to become an electrical engineer, as I'm going to be going to SFU to study for it. So at the beginning of the year, I got some old CRT TVs and took them apart for their high voltage transformers and components, and used them throughout the year making many different circuits such as these ones shown for my project. With every single new circuit I designed, my knowledge of electronics, specifically transistors and MOSFETs, which I'd never used before, got greater and greater. Even though I was always just short of enough thrust to make the ion craft fly, I think there's good progress to be noted in my understanding in electronics now, since this project over the year has made me work with integrated circuits such as the 555 timer, it's made me learn how to read component data sheets, and circuit troubleshooting. One thing I would change in hindsight would be to work a little bit harder to try and get my ion craft to actually fly, but even though my capstones do, I will still work on it in my own time, and if I get it to work anytime soon, I will send a follow-up video in maybe. So when I realize that I probably won't be able to make any of my lifters fly by the time I have to hand in this capstone, I decided to try and make it propel a boat using a Bud Light can, just because that was the first can I found in the recycling. So here was the first result with a weaker driver I built. As you can see, it moves very slowly, but these engines aren't meant to be fast. They're just meant to be very fuel efficient. And here's one with a stronger driver. Much easier to see the results it arcs to everything around it. So, did I enjoy this project? Absolutely. I always like working with electronics and playing with high voltages is extra fun. Even though there were times where I'd have to stare at something for half an hour or I'd get nasty zaps here and there. It was all fun. <laughs>